Hi Leo, Aries, and Sagittarius. Welcome to my channel. My name is Chelsea. In this reading, we're going to find out the person who hurt you, what's their future karma. To book a personal reading with me, all information is in the description box below. Today is the 20th of June, 2023. Time here in Bali, Indonesia is 6.50 a.m. Please bear in mind that this is a collective reading for Leo, Aries, and Sagittarius. If you were to find it guided to watch this video, this message is meant for you, even if you do, even if you're dealing with the same signs. Spirits and angels, please show me for Leo, Aries, and Sagittarius. The person who has hurt them, what's your future karma? Hmm, interesting. Four swords in reverse at the bottom of the deck. Oh gosh. <laughs> Not a sword, the first card. And then also got the Queen of Swords in reverse. So um, the person who has, hurt, who has hurt you has a lot of air in their chart. Could be a Libra, Gemini, or an Aquarius. Could also be a Leo, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, Strong, Gemini. Strong air energy. Okay, Let's look at the Nine of Swords. So many air. One, two, three, four, five, six cards. Either they are an air sign, which is, again, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, or that they have a lot of air in their chart, okay? Could also be a Leo here. Um, hmm. A bit of water I'm seeing, okay? Water is Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio. So with the Nine of Swords, this person had the Nine of Swords here. Their karma, okay, their future karma is where they don't have a peace of mind. This person has no peace of mind at all. Um, they always get angry or people around them, are, or it could go vice versa. People around them will always be very upset with them or don't like them, don't like what they say don't like who they are, I don't know, I'm just getting this energy, because for once in a very, it's like not stable, so this person's life is not going to be stable, okay, uh, or it could be their mental, their mental health is not going to be stable, I think that's because most likely it's because they know, they know they've hurt you, they know this could possibly be their karma there's something about not being able to sleep at night you know if you've done something really wrong to someone you can't sleep at night this is i think subconsciously they know they're guilty see nine of swords is an insomnia card so can't sleep at night always stressing out possibly thinking about what they have said what they have not said or what they have lied or it could be anything but always have these grudges, resentments towards people. I just don't feel a very harmonious, peaceful energy with your person, okay? Within your person. Page of Swords in reverse. It's a paranoid energy too, like constantly, constantly um, not trusting people, always looking over their shoulders, yeah? Always looking over their shoulders. And then we've got the sun here. The sun is possibly the most positive card, but all the cards here are not good cards because they are in reverse. So I feel like they will be feeling this way until something is being made clear. Okay. Until something is being made clear. As in... Until their conscience is clear. Until they have... Because the sun... Can you get something new as well? Until, until they made it known. And also, it can indicate clarity. Or until they repent. It's like out in the, out in the open, telling everybody, until they tell you or tell everybody what they have done, bring everything to light, telling the truth, only then they will be able to sleep. And the sun also can indicate that this person's karma is going to be 
future karma is going to see them seeing you or watching you happy, okay? Watching you being happy, watching you doing better. That could be their karma as well. But again, it feels like either they have to tell the truth, repent, or come forward, tell you, apologize to you, or clear things out. You know, again, the sun is very clear. Clear the air with you. And then only they be able to sleep at night. Feels like this person can't sleep at night, okay? Have problems sleeping at night. The lovers here is in reverse. Ace of Swords and reverse. The lovers is, you know, a connection, partnership, any sorts of partnership. I feel like their partnerships with people or with people they work with, or even romantic partnership, it doesn't work out. They always end, always end in a lot of bitterness, arguments, drama there is no peace of mind in this person's life but it feels like okay maybe maybe the karma will end when they you know again the sun here they tell the truth and they clear the air they let everybody know or you you know come forward and make things clear that's what i'm seeing here until then they'll go through this cycle that i that i feel uh where they, they're not gonna have peace in in their mind in their relationships friendships any sorts of connections if they have a business partner people they work with any sorts of connections it feels like they're always angry always that's a very unsettling energy here always looking over their shoulders Paranoid, nine of cups here in reverse. Everything that they want in their life, they don't seem to get it. They don't seem to be able to achieve it. Because, you know, nine of cups here is in reverse. Their wish is always not being fulfilled. See, four swords in reverse. It's a very restless energy as well. So I feel like this person has a major sleeping problem, okay? And it could also go vice versa, where maybe the person that they deal with, someone who is close to them, is always angry with them, with them, always telling them off, treating them badly, and giving them a lot of headache. Yeah, the person they're close to, okay? So... And now the page of swords here is in reverse. Maybe for some of you, you may have said something like, okay, you'll see, you get your bad karma for treating me this way. You may have told this person or told yourself or told other people, but now they're looking at it, right? They, they're going through the same thing. See, it could be both ways, but it could also, again, go vice versa, where the partner, the person they are with right now or will be in the near future is going to treat them very badly, always yelling at them always very selfish and that of sorts always give them headaches stress not being in a harmonious relationship or connection life in general okay this is kind of interesting let's see more <coughs> excuse me I was coughing. So, okay, four swords in reverse, ace of pentacles. That was, see? What did I say? Five of wands. It's like always arguing, always have drama in their life, and uh, there's always chaos in their life. Queen of wands, ace of pentacles. <coughs> Excuse me. Ace of pentacles, five of wands. Mm. Queen of wands. Okay. So this is you, right? This is your energy, Leo, Aries, Sag. See? They're going to start to feel conflicted and can't sleep at night, especially if they see you doing well, okay? Like if you've started something new with the Ace of Pentacles and then the Sun and where you're sitting in your power here, Queen of Wands. I think the future karma will be watching you doing well for yourself, okay? Watching you being happy and they're angry that you're happy, that you're going to be happy. 
they're not happy that you're happy, okay? They're angry whenever you're happy. <laughs> hmm. Overall, it just makes me feel like they're, the person who has hurt you, their karma would be just constantly not having peace in their life and not having peace with the person they're with, okay? Always, there are some always um, either failed or many failed relationships or relationships or connections that always have all sorts of problems, issues, drama, okay? This is your reading, Leo Aries Sage. Hope you resonated in some way, shape, or form. If you did, please hit like, share, and subscribe. I'm open for personal readings. If you like to book me, my information is in the description box below. Feel free to subscribe to my other channel. It's called Chelsea Vlogs. It's my travel channel. And uh, if you'd like to be notified every time when I post your videos and every time when I go live, don't forget to hit on the bell notification button. Take care. Hope to see you back here again sooner than later. Bye.